Today we are presenting the Netalox Intelligent Key Cabinet. It's designed for pigging. Pigging is known to be a very dangerous application and safety interlocks are used to guide the operator through the sequence safely. Normally in applications such as pigging that are complex, we introduce an MPCU, which is a mechanical process control unit. But Today we represent the Intelligent Key Cabinet, which is an electronically uh, programmed cabinet connected to the DCS. This Intelligent Cabinet is connected to the DCS and has several advantages over a mechanical process control unit. The main advantage is that by connecting it to the DCS, we can add additional features to uh, additional safety parameters into the sequence, such as uh, pressure, for example, or temperature. Additionally, from this panel we can operate the MOVs directly, which are also implemented in the sequence with manual operated valves. Besides that, the cabinet also communicates to the operator the status, what is the next step he has to take, and the status of each step can also be transferred to, to the DCS. Finally, this cabinet allows you to introduce different authorization levels. It can be the authorization to start the sequence, or various authorization levels during the whole process. In this example, we have connected the cabinet to a local screen. And the local screen communicates to the operator what is the status and what is the next step. So at this moment, the system is the initial state, it's the starting sequence, and the first step the operator has to do is take key one from the cabinet. At the same time, the cabinet also communicates to the operator via these LED lights. As you can see, multiple keys are in this cabinet and they are, they are all trapped by solenoids. And when I try to release the key, I see they are trapped, except for the key that is initiated by the light. So the cabinet tells me key one that I need to take is the key that is free initiated by this light. So by taking this key, it authorizes me to start the sequence and I will now go into the field to open the vent valve. I have now opened the vent valve and returned with the designated key. The screen says I have to open the vent and return with key E1, which is the key I have taken from the vent valve. At the same time, the cabinet light blinks and this is the position where I need to return the key. If I try to return the key in a different slot, it will not fit, because all the keys and the slots are uniquely coded. So by inserting the key inside the cabinet, it will guide me through to the next step. The system has detected the key and has now, uh, now informs me to take the next key, which is D1, and also the light of the position for D1 lights up, indicating I can take that key. I will now take this key, go to the pick launcher to open the drain valve. I've opened the drain valve and returned with key E2. And again, the cabinet instructs the operator where to return the key. At this stage, the cabinet will tell you again what is the next step. And actually, I have to remove exactly the same key. Because in the sequence it is safe to open the vent, open the drain, but also close the drain and close the vent. So the same key is released and I'm now going back into the field to close the drain valve. I have now closed the drain valve and come back with the key and inserted the designated position in the cabinet and the LED indicates I now have to take the key E1 and I have to close the vent valve.
have now opened the kicker line valve and the vessel is filling up with liquid and I'm returning the key into the cabinet. At this stage we have gone through the whole sequence of manual operated valves and the door but the next step in the sequence is the MOV. So from the panel I will open MOV1. The MOV1 is now open the pick launcher is lined up and ready to launch the pick. So we will now give the signal to the second MOV to partially close and let the pick go out. In this case, also the pick signaler is connected to the system. So when the pick passes the pick signaler, a, si a signal is provided to the cabinet that the pick is physically out and allows you to close the throttle valve again inside the sequence. So the pick is now safely launched and normally this cabinet will guide the operator back into the sequence to isolate the vessel, drain, vent and put it back into a safe mode. The cabinets are available in, in various models. They can be used in the field in an EXD version or in the control room and every type of sequence or layout is possible. Every sequence we have done so far is unique, so also your application is unique. And you can always contact your Netlox contact, sales contact or representative to get free advice or to work out a sequence together.